Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to replay Drag and Drop by Shark Eater 360. If you remember, we played it during the 7 hour livestream, and apparently I broke it a little bit, and he fixed it the very same day. So we are going to go check it out. What has changed? Hi, and welcome to Drag and Drop. If you find any bugs, trapping errors, please report in the comment section. I wonder if LB can break this map. Note. One Q button does nothing, it is just a placeholder. The one that has no signage. I think I might have forgotten that if I read it before. Yes, that one right there. That little... that little guy. Update number one, fixed the LB exploit. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, apparently I broke something, and it has been fixed. So this time we won't be able to do it again, theoretically. Alright. Ah, yes. So what I'd done, apparently, was completely avoid using the blue gel by- by just going through the funnel and falling out. Like, I- you can just literally could've just jumped out here and landed there. Oh wow, that actually killed me. I did not even expect that at all. Haha! <laughs> really? I did not know that there was deadly goo below me. Alright. What an excellent way to start out the video. Ah yes. I think that was actually there before. I don't remember though. Okay, so first things first, we'll probably want to get that thing that's fallen. Ah yes, the edgeless safety cube from Max von Stratton. And then, to get it, we could press this button, which I believe turns off the funnel. Yeah, that'll work. Nice little convenience button. Not strictly necessary, but it's there for us. And then we just want to, I guess, immediately put it over here. So that's actually really strange. It's just very simple to get, and then you immediately put it where it needs to go with almost no effort. So maybe... maybe consider changing that, making it a bit trickier to get, because as it stands right now, you just do a couple portals to, to get it, and then a couple portals to put it where it needs to go. Not really a challenge. Alright. I think up here... is a nice little vantage point for us to look around. So, the- the thing I was warning about for the cube, I thought maybe... might have something to do with using the light bridge. Like, you could do this. But the only thing I could think of is some sort of velocity fling where... I come out of this, uh... come out of this portal and then try to shoot that one in midair. Which, theoretically, might be possible, but seems totally not the right way to do things. Also, I just noticed... Might have to do some more fixin', potentially. Oop, let's not do that. <laughs> Alright, so maybe not. That's- yeah, that's too execution-based for people to try and do that, really. Like, technically, I probably could- yes, like that. I probably could do that, and then I could jump to here. Actually, no, that- that blocked me just then. Maybe I can't do this. Yeah, just barely can't make it. Probably could with some effort, but yeah. I'd say that's okay right now. So let's try to figure out the intended method. It's also this over here. I suppose we could use that... to get some height... before bouncing. Oh crap, I hate when I do that. Let's try this again. Jump over here. Oh my goodness. Could've put that portal ma surface maybe there or on the ceiling there or something. That's- that's kind of annoying to deal with. At least I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be able to get up on that ledge. This guy right here. Yeah. Thing is, you hit your head. If you just make this, like, a little bit higher, then I wouldn't be hitting my head so much. Alright, so, what we wanna do is we wanna get this light bridge. And let's try this. The issue... that I see... How do we reverse... Slash, and where is Slash? Ah, oh, we need the cube to do that. It's also this area, but you need triangle to do that, which means you need a cube for that. Basically, you need that cube to do anything in this map. So one thing that we could try... ...is to stand back here... ...and do this. But the thing is, we don't get anywhere near up here, which confuses me. I get certainly enough height, but there's nowhere near enough horizontal velocity. So let's go with my other theory instead. Can you even do 
do this. Also, I do want to know, why did you put grading on the light bridge? Because that doesn't really... That's mostly just a nuisance. It doesn't really actually... seem to be used for any part of the puzzle. At least not as far as I can tell. If you can answer that question, by all means, keep it as it is. But otherwise, the grading just seems kind of... pointless. So let's see, the other thing that I was considering... is that maybe... Maybe this might be execution-based. Although I really hope it isn't. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this at one quarter speed. This is gonna be really slow. Yeah, that- that's not gonna work at all. That's not gonna work any day. Alright, so. Yeah, the issue here is that we can't get the gel over to this area at all. We certainly can't bounce ourselves up there just by walking, either. Yeah, we can't even grab the cube because we never get close enough. Like, it's just out of reach. I'm pretty sure we have to use the bounce gel somehow, because I don't remember using it in the live stream. We don't have a way to reverse the funnel right now, because we need the cube for that. Try this one more time. Nope. Yeah, because the issue is that if we do it that way, the gel doesn't get on the light bridge in time. At least not as far as I can tell. Well, that definitely does not seem like it's right. There's also this, but that doesn't get us close enough. I guess we could jump up and grab the cube, potentially? Maybe? Doesn't seem right, though. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Come on, let me up there. There we go. Portal here. Let's walk over here. Walk over to where the gel is. This over. Pretty sure that what I'm about to do is unintended. So let's do this. And. Yeah, we can grab the cube now. But I don't think that's intended. The thing is, I don't know what else I could possibly do, though. So if that's unintended, uh, then I don't know what the portal surfaces here are for. Let's turn this around. Alright, so we have this now. Go ahead and put this on the button. That changes the funnel, it also opens up up there. Let's head up here. Oh wow, that worked out just right. Alright. Portal there. Let's go ahead and walk all the way across here. And then there's this puzzle, which I believe we needed the funnel for, if I remember correctly. So, what you do... You take this off of here. Wow, that actually turned sideways in my hands. That's something I did not expect to have happen. And then, you do... this... and that... Oh, I actually have to press the button first, that's right. And that gets us another companion cube, so I have a question, why are they both companion cubes? Oh, well, whoops. Haha! <laughs> Oops. That's okay, we can easily fix that. So let's get this guy... ...take him back on here. What the? Turned around in my hand again! What is it with these companion cubes turning around in my hand? Alright, so now that's done that. We can easily fix that. Was there another button where- Right, the button's up there, so all we have to do now is portal there and portal there. And we're pretty much done. 
So yeah, tell me if I did that right or the right way or not, because that that didn't seem right to me. All right, whatever. As always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye.